before I before I ask my question, I want to use this opportunity to congratulate the minister. This is the first time he's here in his new ministry. Then I will ask him the sub questions. Yes. Two, one question with two points. Sir, this is a draft education policy. And here in the answer it's also given these are some inputs. So I'm quite sure that the minister will seek other inputs. The concerns are two, and I want the minister today to clarify once and for all these two concerns and set the matter at rest. The first, the, the first and the second in three sentences, sir. The first one, common knowledge that education is number 25 on the concurrent list. So will the minister assure this house, as my colleague said, even though there have been 2,50,000 meetings held, that the state's powers at no point will be interfered with as I say this, sir, there are over 12,000 missionaries, Christian missionary schools in this country who are very concerned. These Christian missionary schools do not teach Christians. They teach Hindus, Muslims, Jains, Buddhists, everyone. So many of us here have been to missionary schools. And they are not Christian missionary schools. They are secular missionary schools run by Christian missionaries. The, the issue here is, I would like the minister to put all doubt at rest and to say that he will take everybody along in a general sense. I don't want to get into specifics now, but this is a concern for so many of us who from different religions have passed out of these schools. And some of these schools are not only run by Christian missionaries, they are run by missionaries of other uh, minority communities, including the great work done by the Ramakrishna Mission. Thank you, sir.